What's going on everybody? Chris here. Uh, man, want to share with you a couple cool things that are going on. Um, first thing, like as of today, Rachel got some news um, from her physician that um, since summertime, um, for the first time since summertime, that her lab values um, for her tumor markers are back within normal limits. And so for all of you guys who've been praying and fasting and man, just uh, man, interceding with the Lord for us, like we just want to say thank you for that. Like thank you to Jesus for that. Thank you for OU. Thank you for you. Thank you for medicine. Thank you for clinical trial studies. Like thank you for all of that, man. Like um, it's not been easy, but man, it, it appears at some level we're, we're kind of winning the war here. And so, man, we're thankful for that. All right. Let me tell you what else we're thankful for. It's like, man, there's like 11 of you on the whiteboard that are getting baptized on Sunday. Um, man, somebody said like, if you blink around here, you're going to miss somebody accepting Jesus as their, as their Lord and as their Messiah. And so, man, I, like I agree with that. And so this Sunday's baptism Sunday, um, man, like, like I'm looking forward to that. Like I'm looking forward to, uh, watching these folks declare Jesus as Lord, you know, in front of the body of Christ, man, that, like their obedience will, will cause obedience in other people. And so, man, I'm um, looking forward to that. Following that week, the following weekend after that, we're doing biggest gift, right? Like biggest gift is simply the idea that man, Jesus is first, like he's, he's first. Um, and so like we, we've just determined here at the church, and as the body of Christ is that, man, whatever whatever financial statement we make towards somebody in this season is that we're going to make a larger financial statement towards Jesus. Like he's going to be first in this. Like we're not going to we're not going to miss we're not going to miss the reason for the reason that we're doing everything. All right. And so biggest gift follows that in December 3rd. And then following that, the church enters into a season of abiding. And uh, man, we're just pattern patterning our life after John 15, where he says, listen, if you remain with me, if you if you abide with me, if you chew on me, he goes, you will produce fruit. Like it's inevitable that you will produce fruit. And so we're taking him at his word, not just in a weekly rhythm, but in a semi-annual rhythm. And so, you know, for the next couple of weeks in December, next three or four, like we're going to, like we're going to be, we're going to be pushing hard the idea of just being still before the Lord. And we're going to model that for you as a staff. All right. And so, man, uh, more on that to come. Happy Thanksgiving to all of you guys. Again, thanks for all of your prayers and love and support. And uh, man, we look forward to seeing you on Sunday.